training video, Correctional Officer Training and Professional Development by Carl Torsbin, former Deputy Warden and Training Officer, Arizona and New Mexico Department of Corrections. The evolution of a correction officer today bears not the slightest similarity to those qualities identifying former security officers as prison guards. What distinguishes correctional officers from guards is the fact that this profession has evolved into a career-making profession. A true law enforcement professional standard that is based on mandatory requirements that have sustained the test of time and resulted in a larger group of hardworking and well-disciplined individuals that do so much and recognize so little by the public today. A credible member and partner of the law enforcement community. What does society expect correctional officers to be? How routine is the job that is so critical in the phases of public safety and the criminal justice system? The answer to these two questions lie in the manner that these individuals do their job and the responsibilities that accept it when wearing the badge of honor as a corrections professional. Fact is, the training is the main ingredient of staff development. The secondary fact is because their duties and responsibilities are basically a natural consequence of accepting the job, one has to remember that they often do more than just patrol the perimeter the yard, the housing units, the cell block, or other areas of the prison. No longer watchmen or keepers of the gate or the keys, Neanderthal type of individuals, they have evolved into a fine craft of officers that focus on maintaining a positive work and living environment within a penitentiary, rather than the earlier guard functions of a simple, physical, mundane task of dealing with difficult and fractured type of prisoners focusing on breaking the spirit of the man through behavioral modification methods that are punitive in nature. Officers today have evolved into counselors, therapists, social workers, and case managers, whether through training or job assignment, they're charged with the supervision of prisoners' attitudes, work performance, living skills, communication, other qualities, hence the growth, the positive growth, and a reduction in recidivism, trying to eliminate the revolving door theory that re then released back into society. Rather than changing an inmate's behavior with steel and whip, they are now trained to perform what is literally a face-to-face -face job with numerous challenges. They are taught and trained in special skills that include but not limited to basic security, drug review, suicide, signs, awareness, and the legal aspect of the job, riot or crowd control, cell extractions, and many more. Phenology, the evolution of this art and staff development and training is just a building block of gaining experience inside the penitentiaries. Something that was non-existent two decades ago with the penology techniques that swayed the penalable business back and forth between programs and security, hardly ever stopping in the middle for a good balance. Responsibilities include but not limited to booking, receiving, escorting, transporting, record keeping, report writing, supervising, inmate movement, including non-inmate movement visitors, supervising inmates, communicating inside and outside law enforcement agencies, performing physically demanding tasks, carry out miscellaneous tasks, and supervise other facility personnel. A vast number of responsibilities. It's estimated this job consists of maintaining security 41 percent, supervise daily uh, inmate activity 26 percent, maintain written documentation 16%, follow emergency procedures 6%, and complete other duties 11%. Job characteristics are facility-specific knowledge, knowing what to do where they work, knowledge of the legal system, knowing the parameters of their uh, conduct, psychological training, street knowledge, first aid, use of firearms, operating communications equipment, oral communication, reading, written communication, quantitative skills, observation, acuity, driving, self-defense, physical restraint, social skills, motivation and dependability. Very, very difficult and complex job. People take it for granted because of the former history, but they are exposed to stress because they learn stress tolerance, dominant self-esteem, non-autonomy, flexibility, tolerance of negative aspects of the job, searching, vision, hearing abilities, physical abilities. It all is wrapped up into the career of a correctional officer and their professionalism as well as their profession. Besides enhanced knowledge, standards, and high ethics, professionalism is achieved through training. It is also ensures the correction professional, especially the corrections officer, will be ready to respond to the challenge of overcrowding 
our prudence today. Please note our references. It is appreciated that they have been provided to us on the internet. You're welcome to visit and look at these references as well as some of the other material that's available. I bid you well. Good luck on your job. Most of all, be safe and thank you for watching this video.